Welcome everyone. In this lecture, I am going to discuss stagflation. Okay. Now stagflation is basically a combination of two things. First of all, you have an economy that is stagnating. Okay. So it's not growing. It's more or less standing still. And you have high inflation. Okay. You have at that same time, high inflation add them up and then you get basically stagflation. This is a very, very weird phenomenon in economics. Now, during my classes, I always tell students when we talk about stagflation, go and watch Rocky. Why go and watch Rocky? Because this movie was, first of all, it's one of my favorite movies. It's a great movie. But second of all, this movie was set in the 1970s. And this period was the period of big stagflation in the United States. And I feel that that movie really captures that, that stagflation basically vibe very well. Eh? So you have a lot of poverty, pessimism in that movie, which are the, the, you know, the characteristics of stagflation. So also a tip for you, if you want to experience that vibe of stagflation, watch this great movie. Now, as was mentioned, stagflation is a bizarre phenomenon. This is not, you know, in the, in the standard scripts of uh, Keynesian economics, because in Keynesian economics, we work with the Phillips curve, which shows basically the following that if we have inflation and unemployment, oops, like this, okay. Uh, there's an inverse relationship between them, which means that if you have a, you know, a slow economy with a lot of unemployment, for instance, you're at this point with a lot of unemployment, then you will have not so much inflation. Okay. So there's an inverse relationship between these two. That is also what we usually observe this inverse relationship, but in periods of stagflation, you know, you get a freak phenomenon, a weird phenomenon, a phenomenon phenomenon that should not exist basically according to prevalent macroeconomic theory but it does occur from time to time and the last big period of stagflation well if you go uh, and see the 1970s as i just mentioned uh, in the united states well there's some stagflation that you can observe in that period now you might ask the following what are the causes of stagflation? Well, there's not one cause. There can be multiple causes. One thing that this cause or causes must have is that they should basically create both a stagnating economy, so an economy that is not growing, and high inflation. So theoretically, I can give you some scenarios. I will start with scenario one. In scenario one, the government basically increases taxes for whatever reason, maybe they have some kind of a deficit, budget deficit that they need to clear or whatever reason they increase taxes. And when they increase the taxes, what happens is that this slows down economic activity. So this will lead to, you guessed it, a stagnating economy. If at the same time that they raise taxes, they also print more money. So money supply, MS, goes up as well. They print more money, maybe again, because they have some kind of a budget deficit and they want to use some of the money supply that they themselves create to clear away that budget deficit to pay their own expenses. Well, they can also do that. When money supply goes up, especially if it goes up a lot, you guessed it, it will create high inflation. When you have both of these together, you will have stagnation plus high inflation. You will have stagflation. A second scenario could be this. If oil prices shoot up, okay? So not just a little bit, but really heavily shoot up. Like for instance, what happened in the 1970s, eh? in the 1970s, that exactly happened oil prices in a very, very short period of time went up seriously, quadrupled almost in terms of price. That's a lot of increase. And this will also cause a combination of stagnation and high inflation. Now, at this point, you might ask yourself, how come? Well, it's very simple. 
oil uh, is integrated in everything everything obviously that is you know in a shop has been transported to that shop at some point so in that sense the transportation cost is integrated in the price of of many goods but you should also realize that many goods that we consume are you know derivatives from oil many of you who are watching this video right now you are wearing some kind of a you know synthetic derivative that is from the petrochemical industry which is a derivative of oil so uh, oil is all around us in terms of prices and when oil prices go up seriously of course they will raise the general prices and at the same time they will stagnate the economy because you know everything has become much more expensive and it's a shock for the companies to absorb such a huge increase in such a short uh, span of time so it will also stagnate the economy now there's a positive relationship between uh, the gold uh, price on the one hand and stagflation on the other hand. Basically when we observe stagflation, we observe that gold price typically shoots up. Now why is this the case? Well, during stagflation, ask yourself, is this a good period to invest in company stocks? Well, if you're into buying low and selling high, maybe it's a good time. But the vast majority of people, they will be pessimistic at that point and they won't invest in stocks. At the same time, holding on to, you know, normal currency, normal fiat currency like the US dollar, it's also not a very good idea because you have high inflation, which means the value of this dollar is, you know, know going down rapidly so one way to escape this basically is to escape to gold because gold in the long run has more or less more or less a stable purchasing power so inflation won't eat at it as much as it will eat away from the dollar now let's look at the empirical evidence here we see basically this uh, the gold price this solid line over here that is the gold price expressed simply in historical dollars and as you can see in that uh, in the 1970s eh, that, that period that I was discussing um, where you had this stagflation you see that the gold price basically soars in this period and that is exactly what I was just talking about now this solid black line this shows us just the, you know the historical dollar price but if you want to correct the prices and you ask yourself basically how much would it cost for instance in 2018 dollars so if you would correct for that then you add up with this graph with it which is basically also shown behind the solid line and then you can see that in this period and so in the 1970s gold price didn't just go up a little bit like is shown here but if you would express it in today's dollars or actually 2018 dollars it went to this level so it's a very very high level stagflation and gold price increases they typically go hand in hand in other words you observe stagflation you make the jump to gold that's it everyone i hope if you enjoyed this movie that you will like it and leave a comment thank you so much have a great day